today I will be showing you how to use how to use your Android device as a motion sensor as in in other words say you're playing Super Mario Party and the game is baseball then you can swing with your with your actual Android not with your controller so what we're gonna need is we're gonna need for motion control for you to is pad test it will be link down in the description this will show you if it's working or not correctly and this is the app that you have to install on your android device I'm gonna get out of the app so you can see it the app is this one motion source and pad test will be open but in your computer you'll download motion source in your phone and pad test you will download it and use it on your computer it's only a test it's not actually like a program that makes this work so let's say that you already have downloaded these gonna go to our downloads folder and we're gonna look for pad test here we have pad test Pad this open and probably gonna have the one from PS4 you're gonna change it because you're not using PS4 we're using our mobile device so first thing we gotta do is here we're gonna have all these four check here and this one so you gotta check and now we're gonna go to the app and in the app motion source you're gonna click motion source and this IP, I'm gonna tap it. This IP is the one you're gonna use. So, you first you choose how you want your phone to be started up. I always start it like this, so that means that I have it on a flat surface like that, facing forward. So, it says 10.00.101. So, that's what we're gonna write here. So, let's start up the server. And this is our port. Make sure that the port is the same number too. So let's write up the ones that we have there. So it's 10, 00, zero and here will be zero, 01. And there we have it exactly like that. And the port is 26760. See here, same one. So now we can just go and start up. As you can see, it started moving there, and that's the ID. If you look here, it's the Mac ID and all that. It's the same one. Zero eight D four. Yeah, it's exactly that one. And the controller is being all wonky. If it starts like that and it's moving on its own, like being wonky, you just have to tap here on the app reset, and it should and tap here like this is the position that you want making sure that it is set it to what you want here I have the controller and as you can see it's the phone and this is the controller I shake it around or something it's moving so we know this is working now we can put it down on a flat surface Rolling it down. It's actually that. There we go. And now that we know it's working, we can tap stop, close pad test. Pad test is only for that, so you can know if it's working or not. And now we go back here, and we're gonna go to YouTube. Here's our Yuzu. We're gonna go to emulation, configure. We're gonna go to controls, left Joy-Con, Xbox 360 controller because that's what I have. If you have a PS4 controller, you don't have, you don't actually need an Android device to help you with motion control. You can just use DS4 program and set up your motion control. 
and if you have an Xbox One controller, it also has motion control setup. It already brings it, so you don't need to be getting an Android device for this. Now that we have that, we're gonna go to motion. We're gonna type up the one that we have here, which is 10, 0, 0, dot, 0, 1. Yours will be different. Mine is this one. And the four is 2676. It's already there. So now we're going to hit test. It's reset. It says set fully. So it received it. And we can tap, tap add server. I already added it and it's here now. And now we can just click OK. Next, you're going to need to do is see this one under your under the controller you see motion zero or you see none or you see like this not not set or you see something else click it it's a shake so I'm gonna shake the controller see I shake shift it and now it says I shook the Android not the controller and now it says motion zero I'm gonna do it again I click on it I grab the phone and I'm gonna shake it and it's motion zero it could say motion seven that's what the guy explained and if it's motion seven it doesn't matter zero or seven is fine that actually depends on your Android version so now that you have all these set up we're gonna click OK and we're gonna go to a game to test it First game that we're gonna test that is Super Mario Party. Make sure to have it like that. And see, in this game, we play sideways instead of like that. So if it's sideways, we're gonna go and grab a controller and put it like that. And this is how we're gonna be using it. Just this and this because I'm using left. If I was using right Joy-Con, I'm using these. This part, not this part. Left Joy-Con, right Joy-Con. And now it says to tap OK. And it says this button, so that means it's this one. And it went there. Here we can skip. wants me to get a character so it's still gonna be like this and to say okay it's this one and now we can walk and we're gonna choose the easiest guys now that I chose them, we can leave. I'm gonna go to the mini games place so I can show you the baseball one. There's other mini games, but so far. I just got this game, so the one I know is that one that uses motion. All Star Swingers. And now, as you can see, it says swing. But we're not gonna swing our Xbox controller. We're gonna swing our phone. So I'll grab my phone right here. Let me set it. That is, I'm set up. Game starting. So let me twist it. So just twist it. There we go.
you can see it did work. I did, I swam nine times. Now I can put it down. Now we can just pick another mini game or something. But instead, I'm gonna go to Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. Make sure that it's still set up since I had to close it. Controls. And just test it. Typing the IP that you have here. Don't turn off the server. And test. It says it's okay. Tap okay. And let me click here. It says shake it. Shake it. Draw your Android controller now. And tap okay. Now we're gonna go to Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. reference this phone is Android 9 and it's working so I don't think you need a very new phone to use it and this one is a very low end now it says it doesn't see your control so all you're gonna do is go to emulation configure controls and see that it's not marked so we mark it and apply okay and there's our controller now we're gonna click this one, which is hard A. It cut that could happen. It's happened for me before. Configure controls. Go back. Apply. Okay. Here it is again. And let's see which one it wants as the A. It's not that one. It's having this one as no. Oh right, because I'm not using this slapstick now. I'm not using sideways, now I'm using upright so we can put our control upright again. I forgot. Emulation, configure, controls, mark it here, apply. Don't forget to put it like that, so that means like this, not sideways like the Mario Party game. So that means my A is this one. This one right here. And it is. Now it's talking about like about it. We have a controller. We have our motion. Some people do take this the, the um, phone to their controller. If you want to do that, you can go do that. Okay, here we are. I'm gonna go to the grass. If people let me. I know I had a max repel, so let's wait for that to go down. She died off. There we go. Now that it's dead, it, we should be able to see some Pokemon. There we go. Let's go after Dorotara. And we're gonna catch Dorotara with our phone. So let's change Master Balls. No. 
go with a normal Pokeball. This one, an Ultra Ball. Ultra Ball, tap, get ready. And now that we're ready, we're supposed to use the Joy-Con, which will be our phone. So now that we have this, very bad at drawing with this, because I'm supposed to use my, okay, then I use my right hand. There we go. Evil Tata wouldn't let me touch it. And here we go, see? You can use your Android device to play Super Mario Party mini games and also to catch Pokemon by throwing the Pokeball like a Joy-Con. And here's the Rotara that we caught. And this is all for the video. If you want, if you have any questions, the, the links will be down below in the description. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments or write in my Discord. Thank you all for watching.